Hey friends, my name is Priscilla, also known as PJ. This is my first YouTube video. Yay! God damn it, another YouTuber. So since Halloween is coming up, which is many people's favorite holiday, and I dress pin up, which is 50s inspired, I thought what better way to do a Halloween costume than on pop art. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and leave any comments below. Also know I do accept all and any constructive criticism. So if you don't like this video, that's okay. So if you'd like to see how I got this pop art costume, please keep watching and let's get started. First we're going to start by applying moisturizer to our face. So now we're going to get our liquid foundation and apply that evenly throughout our face. This one is by L'Oreal's True Match. And make sure you bring it down your neck for an even finish. So for those of you who have dark circles under your eyes, like myself, I am going in with Garnier's Eye Concealer. Okay, so for this part, don't judge me. Most people would use eye primer, however, I'm using Max Pro Longwear Eye Concealer. For some reason, it makes my eyeshadow more pigmented. With a black eyeliner, you want to make sure to line your eyebrows and fill them in. Without filling your eyebrows in completely, you want to get a clean brush and use the excess product that you have on your eyebrows and push that forward, giving your eyebrows that gradient effect. And now you should look like you have Sharpie eyebrows. So now I'm using my Real Techniques eyeshadow brush and with any purple eyeshadow that you have, go ahead and start packing that onto your eyelids. Making sure to blend that baby in really well, that way you don't have any harsh eyeshadow lines. So for this look, you want to work from the center of your face out. So to compensate for those trolla eyebrows, we want to slightly over exaggerate that winged eyeliner. So for a more cartoony look, go ahead and draw on a black line around where your eyeshadow ends. This eyelash glue I'm using is called Star Glue. The reason why I like it so much is because I've used Duo before and it's pulled out my eyelashes and it's just a little too harsh for me. Going in with my liquid eyeliner, I just cleaned up any flaws I had. So you have to remember, this look is for Halloween. And it being Halloween, you want everything to be dramatic. And speaking of dramatic, you now want to outline a tear under your eye. I found it's better to use a smudge brush rather than an eyeshadow brush to apply the blue eyeshadow into the tear. That way you don't have any eyeshadow flakes on your face. And now since I look like a crybaby, <laughs> now it's time to do the fun part, the line. Outline the bridge and the sides of your nose. 
And if you already have large nostrils, you can go ahead and skip this part. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead and start outlining the outsides of your nostrils. Anything that's gonna give your face a three-dimensional look, you wanna go ahead and outline that with your eyeliner. So since we're working from the inside of your face to outward, you may now apply blush. Keep it in mind that you do want to apply a little more than you normally would. Now, in the hollows of your cheeks, place a black line of eyeliner. So for this face paint kit, I got this at the Dollar Tree. Yes, the Dollar Tree. Don't knock it till you try it. If you've been to any Halloween store, you know that you will get this for $5 or more. And for this entire look, I spent no more than $5. So here I'm just outlining my odd shaped hairline. It gives me character. Start applying red dots all over your face. And more red dots. And some more. Keep it going. You're almost done. Not quite yet. done now. Now off to your lips. Moisturize your lips just enough to where your lipstick still looks matte. I'm using Max Ruby Woo Matte Red Lipstick, which is quite popular. Outline your lips in black eyeliner. Now off to the hair. And with the power of editing, voila, hair is done. If you'd like a tutorial on how I achieve this pin of hairstyle, please let me know in the comments down below. For this part, make sure you have an old t-shirt because we'll be spray painting our hair yellow. If you don't feel like spray painting your hair at all, you can opt for a hair wig of any color of your choice. So currently I'm in love with this fixing top by Doll Me Up Darling and this skirt is from Etsy. Both will be in a link down below. So this is the final outcome. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Look up, lady. This is my pussy. This is Simba. And he loves me so much. Loves me. Ow! There goes that idea.